Tonight, President Trump and Democratic nominee Joe Biden will face off for their first debate this election, an important one for us here in Nevada because we are considered a swing state. Scripps reporter Joe St. George joins us now live from Washington this morning to talk about tonight's debate. So good morning, Joe. First question for you, why? Why is Nevada still considered a swing state? Uh, the last two elections seem to have gone to Democratic contenders. Right, but this election season, and good morning, good morning, Las Vegas, a lot of people are looking at Nevada as potentially one of those last states that could get a candidate over that 270 electoral college votes threshold. Nevada only has six electoral college votes, but if you look at the map and the map breaks a certain way in which Biden might win a few states in the upper Midwest, maybe he wins a few in the South and Trump holds a state like Ohio and Pennsylvania, it could come down to Nevada. Nevada is a swing state with a big debate tonight. It's a crucial event for undecided voters in Nevada. And Joe, we know that Joe Biden, of course, leading the polls right now, but we also know debates can change that into a whole new direction. So what will President Trump have to do to make a shift happen in his favor? Well, well, look, I mean, this is a big night and I have a number for you. 84 million Americans. That's how many Americans watched the first debate four years ago. Now, a lot of Americans have decided where they're going to vote this election season. There's only about four, five, six, seven percent if you look at polls of undecided voters nationwide. That's pretty true in Nevada as well. But those are the margins that will decide how this election breaks those crucial undecided voters. And remember, in Nevada, ballots are start being mailed out next week. So this is going to be one of those last major events, perhaps before someone sits down at their kitchen table and, fill, and fills out a ballot. And Joe, is it likely that tonight's debate will change how the candidates plan their late campaign appearances in certain states? Could they show up in Nevada more? Yeah, I, I honestly do think that there'll be more states, uh, more visits out west, not just because of Nevada, but because you're so close to Arizona. Arizona is shaping up to be a crucial state as well. So a candidate could easily do a rally in Phoenix, hop on a flight, in the case of the president, Air Force One, and fly over to Las Vegas or Reno and, and, and talk to voters there. So I would look for more campaign stops uh, as President Trump looks for a state. He, his campaign here in Washington thinks there's a good chance they may lose one state that they won four years ago. And as a result, they may have to flip a state that went for Hillary Clinton. And they're looking at Nevada. They think they have a decent shot in your state. You talk to Democrats, though, in Nevada, they say they're going to hold on here. Uh, and they like their chances with Joe Biden. As we know, President Trump's tax returns, they've been in the spotlight the past few days. How is that going to play in tonight's debate on both sides? Well, I would suspect it may be the first question of the debate by Fox News uh, moderator Chris Wallace. He will be the one moderating tonight's the, the debate. The first question has already been determined by a coin flip. It'll go to Donald Trump, so it could be the first thing out of the gate uh, by Chris Wallace. Just to set things up for you, again, 90 minutes is how long we're expected the debate to go this evening. It'll be a limited in-person crowd between 70 and 90 individuals. All will have tested uh, negative for COVID-19, the debate taking place in the campus of Case Western University in Cleveland. Going to be a big night. A lot of Nevada voters will be watching, no doubt. <laughs> All right, thanks. Joe St. George reporting live from Washington, D.C. today about tonight's debate. So, big night. Thank you, Joe. We appreciate you.